Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at a brand new game coming to mobile very soon. May the 7th, we will have access to Sonic at the Olympic Games. This game looks so good. There looks like so much to it. And it looks like a complete game as well. It doesn't look like we're going to get a few events. We're getting pretty much every event you can expect at the Olympic Games. So, we're going to be taking a look at two trailers. One is a your normal standard Olympic Games tap-in, getting your angles with no no massive Sonic element to it in terms of we've got Sonic characters, but they are what you'd expect from the Olympics in real life. Then we have the EX versions. These are like the Sonicified versions that involve, you know, your typical bad guys. You've got your, your pinball bumpers and they add a little extra Sonic flair to it. So I'm really excited to show you guys this and just to kind of talk about it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about it. So the first version we're going to look at is the standard Sonic games. We have Sonic Tails, Knuckles, Amy Rose and Eggman on the, the little thumbnail there. Events. So we have 400 meters hurdles with a Silver the Sonic. Um, we have Sonic there in the 100 meters. See typical tapping style to get faster. Hammer throw getting your right angles there. Knuckles. Um, Amy Rose is there with archery. We have to take into account the wind. What you would expect from a standard actual game alone. Badminton. Looks like it's all about timing. You have boost bar there. We have shooting trap, which is you know release of one or two clay pigeons, I think. Diving at three meters springboard. With a little bit of sonic flair there. I think this means you can definitely say that. Trampoline. Karate, which is a new event for Tokyo 2020. And we also have sports climbing as a new event for 2020. So in this version, you are just climbing on a, 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 a wall face that isn't changing or moving. You'll see how it compares to the EX version a bit. We had fencing there and BMX there with Dark Sonic. Tails getting the right timing for a long jump. Table tennis, Silver Sonic and Tails. Javelin throw, trying to get through that hoop. We'll go for gold in every single event we will be doing. We're going to be going for some high scores. This is a game definitely that can be done between the community. I think we can hopefully hold some like Olympic games ourselves. Definitely be trying to do that on the channel if it has that option to be able to play with friends in like your decathlon style um, where you've got like so many events. Next up, then, we have the EX version. So, as I said before, like the Sonic Abide, you will see some similar things in this that you would expect to see in any Sonic game. EX events include BM BMX EX. Um, so, you can see some of the, the guys there. We have 400 meter hurdles with pinball bumpers. Hammer, hammer throw EX version. So here you're kind of throw into certain areas for points. Long jump, we have this guys you can expect. The uh, bad guys in Sonic. Is that in? Shooting trap EX, you're shooting more than one. Diving three meter springboard, we see some of the pinball bumpers there. And archery, oh, they really went for some flair here. It turns round. The board turns round whilst you're trying to get a 10. Javelin throw. Trying to throw it through that smoke ring. And as I mentioned before, it's not a still you know, wall there. We've got moving objects that you're trying to jump to on the sports climb. Worldwide release on May the 7th, 2020. Not 2021 like Tokyo. They need to change that. Um, hopefully it doesn't get put back because of the coronavirus. Developers hopefully are at home working away. And it looks a very complete game already. It looks like it is ready for release. And I can't wait. I will be putting this on the channel. If you want to stay up to date with anything like data mines, early access, APKs, beta, soft launch, anything related to that, I will be putting on this channel and keeping you guys notified. So hit subscribe if you want to kind of stay up to date with that. If you've enjoyed these trailers, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this game. I'm really excited for it. I think it looks really good. Uh, but it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts as well. That's all from me. See you guys soon.